Abby. Just so you know, I'm definitely the lucky one here. Today, in front of the people we love and know, I wanna make a promise to you that I will forever love you now, tomorrow, and always. I jokingly say to you that I have always loved you. Actually, I say it kind of a lot and you consistently remind me that's not possible. <laughs> it seems true though, and I believe it enough that it might just be real. It's hard to describe, but basically when you became part of my life, I felt a new drive and purpose. Um, you've changed me, not in a way that is specific to one thing really, for what I'm describing, but in a way of realizing what is truly important in life. I guess that is what these vows are about. I've always been a hopeless romantic. Maybe it comes from watching too many rom-coms as a young girl who was nerdy and certainly not the one all the boys had crushes on. Nick, you know which rom-coms I'm talking about, probably because I'm making you watch all of them. Nick's chick flick education. <laughs> Though to be fair, you've made me watch all of the Justice League movies, all of the Matrix trilogy, all of the Star Wars and Star Trek movies, and many, many Tom Cruise movies, so I think that makes us even. I promise to be the best person I can be for us. I can't promise I will not have bad days, become out of shape, be super annoying, <laughs> complain about nothing, <laughs> um, and much, much more. I can promise though that I will always be someone you can trust, rely on, come to for help, and ultimately I will always, until the end of my days, be there for you. I thought love was a fairy tale. What I discovered though is fairy tales don't exist and true love and partnership is much better than any fairy tale you could imagine. The real love story is in the little things, the small acts of service you do, Nick, that show me how much you care for me. The way you learned to play intense board games because you knew my family and I loved them. Honestly, you, you may be even more intense than me now. <laughs> The way you replace every other song lyric with Crabigail, <laughs> your infamous nickname for me, just to make me laugh. The way you take an interest in all of my friends' lives, asking them about a million questions about their jobs, their pets, their houses, their lives, every time you see them. The way my friends became your friends and vice versa. The way you are my number one supporter, always pushing me to take the next step always believing in me, even when I don't believe in myself. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to try. Abby? <laughs> you have to grab it. I want to like... Okay. Okay. What is this? Do you want me to read out loud? I or? read it out loud. Nick. Who would have thought that a random guy I matched with on Tinder five years ago would, <laughs> um, would become the most important person in my life? I'm so glad you walked into my life. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to be able to call you my wife. I can't wait to wear my wedding band. And most importantly, I can't wait to share and have my life with you after today. Love, Nick. Yes, I am. I was practicing downstairs. <laughs> Hi, 
I am looking forward to the memories we will share and the people we will become. I also stand before you and want to make sure you know it just doesn't matter. I want to take the pressure completely off. This commitment from me means it seriously doesn't matter. <laughs> Wherever you go, whoever you will become, and whatever you will do, I will always love you. I can't promise to be the perfect partner all the time. I'll slip up. Some days I'll probably annoy the heck out of you. But I can promise that every day I will show up for you, for us. If we fail at something, we'll fail together and we'll get back up together because that's the only way I want to do life together. Nick, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Let's go write our own story and I know it will be better than any rom-com I've ever seen. I love you forever. <laughs> and for the first time, it is my privilege and honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Sermonar. to have built the home full of support and laughter and board games and love, that's all them. And I know that the life you will continue to build together is so incredibly special. I'm truly happy to be a part of your guys' life. I'm honored to be up here speaking to you today. I wish you nothing but luck and love in the future. So if everybody could raise their glasses one more time, <laughs> 